This plant has been so controversial from the beginning of time. It smells so good too. <laughs> The most amazing plant. It is so versatile. It works highly, it's highly, it has a high vibrational value. By that I mean, as we walk inside of this field right now, you can feel all kinds of senses. When I say high vibrational, it is connected to everything around us. For example, we have the endocannabinoid system in our bodies. Now, whether you have the seeds, whether you have the roots, whether you have the leaves, the cannabinoids in this amazing plant works with your endocannabinoid system to increase the value of it, especially around the head. Yeah. Later, stop it. This is cannabis sativa. It's a low THC variety. The THC level has to remain below 0.2%. And you have to maintain that level, so we have to test it, ongoing testing, and keep you on top of it. It's still considered to be a controlled drug, so you need to be licensed to be able to grow. Industrial hemp, if it's grown in the vicinity of its cousin marijuana, it will make it male female, so it has no value. As we are standing here, this amazing plant is reconditioning the, the soil. Fantastic root ball which uh, really drives into the soil, gives it a good anchor. It's also benefit is nitrogen fixing, so it's giving all the nutrients back into the soil and regenerating it. It's a fantastic break crop in a, in a regular crop rotation. Um, it adds nutrients to the soil, adding nitrates and uh, potassium. You can grow it very, very far north. You can grow fi fibre varieties and different varieties, um, which are which are hardier to that kind of condition. It's actually a very small plant, but it's quite amazing. It's growing almost like for fiber, you know, for to make fabric. It's man's longest surviving fabric. From about July, it starts to pollinate. The males will start dying off. So we kind of want to hit it from around July and August. In September as well. It takes about four months in total to mature. That's one of the great things about it, you know, the, the fibres you can use for everything and it only takes four months to mature. So what I'm doing at the moment, I'm focusing on picking out, that's why you see me like diving through, you know, I'm picking out the best ones for use for Yoli stuff and then everything else will be harvested by combine where they'll use the seeds for oils and uh, proteins and that kind of stuff. I make a food medicine out of it. It is just the most amazing thing. I've seen people who were bedridden for five years just with the seeds. I I'm, I'm give it to them, 98 years old woman. Two weeks later, she's out of bed and she's gardening. Yeah. Yeah. You know, as an entrepreneur. It's got all the essential amino acids. It's packed full of adestin, which is a protein that our body uh, is used to and can process very easily. It's digestible proteins, fiber, omega-3, one of the, the most complete sources of, of nutrition. Now, its cousin marijuana has got some ca cannabinoids, but it's rich in, in psychoactive THC. So they're really two different plants. So this uh, cannabinoid, it acts as a food supplement. It's an antioxidant. It builds the immune system. It just brings everything in working order in the body when you have it. So we're, we're getting the whole plant um, from the soil, root ball and all, because the, the root ball contains a lot of cannabinoids and it's, it's, it's the anchor to the earth. It's got a lot of nutrients in there. So we're using every aspect of the plant from the root to the stalk, the leaves, to the buds, to the, to the seeds, obviously. So when consumed as a whole plant, that's when you're getting all the benefits. There's a lot of research studies going on on CBD in particular, uh, cannabidiol for its benefits for epilepsy, preventing seizures, relaxation, it helps you sleep, it's antidepressant, it's anti-nausea, all these amazing properties. It promotes T cells, which fight cancer as well. We're harvesting for the, for the other cannabinoids as well, which are kind of 
only just becoming sought after and looked into. This here, I would use the outer part because that's where the CBD and all the cannabinoid is attached to. <laughs> Beast, that's, son. Yeah. yeah. It's difficult it's in there where they're so high. Yeah, yeah that's quite a bit. Um, so if we can, yeah, we'll try and pack some away. See what we can pack away and then string up. Pack. The vegan society are doing a lot of good work uh, lobbying uh, the government and the lords in terms of uh, changing policy, um, which is essential obviously for the, for the building industry, but also for the farming aspect of it. We need to set up the in infrastructure, we need to get the, the customers in place and get the suppliers ready. It's about building that infrastructure and getting the, the processing facilities in place, get the industry going. Using the fibre, using the, the, the biocomposites and the, the hemp plastic, huge industries which should potentially open up. Yeah. This is the hemp CPD uh, infused in coconut butter with fresh uh, homegrown uh, turmeric and um, all the cannabinoids. And it's great for sleeping, people who cannot hemp coffee. Memory drink, you can add it to sparkling water according to your taste. And you have the soaps, the drops. This has got uh, the whole hemp plant. It also has uh, sour sub leaf and it's got ginkgo. It's quite an amazing, hardcore, super antioxidant uh, as a supplement. The whole medical cannabis movement, uh, which is really opening people's eyes and opening up debate, uh, informed debate about the, the, the actual value in medicinal um, CBD and, and cannabinoids, which, which can help treatment and actually benefit people. The GW Pharmaceuticals are doing it under license. Um, their, their drugs are on the NHS. So it's adding that legitimacy to it. It's all kind of magic that goes on in there, you know, in making the product from this amazing plant. It never fails to amaze me, this plant. It is so awesome. I've been with it since 1995. I go more and more in love with it. It's beautiful. Clothing, food, medicine, antioxidants, supplements. It is an amazing plant. Hemp foods are growing by double digit figures every year. People are using it much more and it's becoming much more a serious topic rather than a stigmatized evil ganja weed plant. People have to actually acknowledge the, the benefits that hemp can bring to the, the economy, um, to people's health and to the nutrition. It's, it's, it's an all-encompassing all no-brainer really.